Stephen. Hello, everybody. Uh, beautiful people. You young, beautiful people. <laughs> Back at you. We have got you. We've got an extraordinary group of guests tonight. Yeah, we do. We have out here <laughs> in in just a moment, sitting right over there and performing this evening. We have the one, the only, Mr. Andre Three Thousand will be here tonight. He's got That's a new cool. album. Woo! He's got this new album. Yeah. The new album is called New Blue Sun, and he right. warns the fans on the front. He's got a label that says, "Warning: No bars." <laughs> it's not a rap album. Yeah, nope. It's all. Flute. We'll it's wood, it's yeah. all woodwind instruments. It's, it's really deep. Saying basically, sorry, this is the way the wind blew me this time. And then we have uh, a Peabody Award winning staff writer for The New Yorker and Dean of the Columbia School of Journalism, uh, Jelani Cobb, will be out here in just a moment. So, Andre 3000, Dean of Columbia. We run the gamut Woo! here, baby. Yeah, we do. Folks, I spend most of my time over there in the news bakery folding the most topical T45 Francine story flour with the newsiest, most decadent beurre bordier to create the laminated story dough, which I bake in a ring molded at precisely 180 degrees Celsius to present to you the delicate yet flavorful Queen Amman pastry that is my nightly monologue, but sometimes, just sometimes, folks, after double-crossing a Russian circus bear, I cower in the monkey tent where I mix wood shavings and sawdust with an expired go-gurt, then toss it on the tow truck radiator to fry up the carnival freak's trash waffle of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... It's an antibiotic is what it is. Meanwhile, a heartwarming story from England where a cat went missing for seven years then turned out to be living at a factory just 900 feet away from home. Even more impressive, he was found at that factory working the bench grinder. <laughs> Meanwhile, we all love Kansas City Chiefs tight end and glazed pork shoulder just about to be ready to come out of the slow cooker, Travis Kelsey, but apparently... We've all been pronouncing his name wrong this whole time. See, we've all been saying Kelsey when it's actually pronounced Chalamet. <laughs> I am joshing, of course. According to a discussion on Inside the NFL, the correct pronunciation is Travis Kells. And in a podcast, Travis's dad backed it up, saying that the proper way to say their last name is Kells. Come on! Changing the pronunciation of your last name is the most pretentious thing I have ever heard. Or my name isn't Stephen Colbert, which it's not, and it never has been. <laughs> Meanwhile, Taco Bell is offering cereal for a limited time only. Makes sense. You eat enough Taco Bell, your time is limited. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the end of March, Uber Eats will shut down its alcohol delivery service, Drizzly. Now, if you want to get hammered in your underwear, you'll have to go to the Port Authority like the rest of us. <laughs> Meanwhile, there was chaos down south when a loose horse had to be rounded up on a Tennessee highway. Take a look. <laughs> this is out of this world. That is so dangerous. That horse didn't even check its blind spot before merging. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bad news for the MTA, New York City's Public Transit Authority, which has a big problem with people hopping turnstiles. Unfortunately, the MTA's new $700,000 subway gates designed to keep out fare beaters can be defeated by a simple hack. Here's a look. Great job. Great job, MTA. It would be more effective just to force everyone to jump over a pile of $700,000. We'll be right back with Andre 3000. 